the Molenbeek district in Brussels is back to calm, one day after the arrest here of Salah Abdeslam, one of the last remaining fugitives in the November Paris attacks by Islamic State that killed 130 people. The 26-year-old was raised in this multicultural melting pot, and neighbors are in disbelief that Europe's most wanted man was living in their midst. Au départ, ils sont très gentils. Originally a very nice boy. How can it go that far? That's something else. How can they succeed to put such things in a young person's head? Abdeslam was taken by convoy to an unknown location after spending the night at a Brussels hospital for a slight leg wound. Belgian Prime Minister Charles Michel says his extradition to France could take weeks. It's not clear what Abdeslam's exact role was in the killings, but investigators are certain he helped plan the operation for IS. In Paris, too, there's a kind of calm at the Place de la République, where tributes are still being left four months after the assaults that shook France. It's really a relief. I can't wait for Belgium to transfer and return him to France so he can be tried the way he should be so justice will be served. Police are questioning a family they think harbored the known fugitive in the Molenbeek apartment, but it's Abdeslam himself they want to talk to the most. He's the only identified Paris attacker who survived the assaults, and his capture offers France a chance to finally understand what happened.